Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer, September the 7th, out playing with the drone. Uh, flying low down the waterway at full speed, headed up towards the highway, timing it out to where I don't run it out in the road and stop it in the nick of time. Caught it there, so uh, it worked. I was flying by the shadow, realizing that it was just out in front of me a bit. And there was an incline, so I had to increase the altitude a few times to get it to, you know, climb the hill. So, bringing it on back down to me. Anyhow, that was fun. But what I was up to was trying to get active track to work. I've had a lot of issues with it, but I finally got it to work today on a stationary object to actually fly around the object and um, stay on track. Now I've edited a lot of that out because I know you didn't want to sit here and watch something go around and around several times. Um, this tree though is one that I'll have to come back and film again the right time of year when it turns bright red. It's a Japanese maple so that might make for something pretty to look at. But I've got the stationary function working now so that uh, I can actually get the drone to fly itself around a stationary object. And um, getting some altitude up on the 4020 like that made it look like a little toy. But this, if I can get it to follow a moving object circling around it like that, that might make for some interesting video this fall when I'm uh, harvesting in the combine. That's what my goal was, trying to get this to work. So far, trying to make it work on a moving object hasn't turned out too good. And since all of my fields are full of beans, I can't go out there and drive in them. And the spots that I've got to try this in, there's too many trees around, and I don't want to fly that drone into the trees or basically have it fly itself into the trees. But right here's proof that I've got the active track function actually working. The controller's laying on the um, wellhead. I'm sitting there smoking my pipe, just enjoying it. So I'll keep messing with it and see if I can't get it to follow a moving object, if I can find a place open enough to experiment with it. I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. Thanks for being here. I enjoy your comments. Bye, y'all.